Nostradamus has successfully predicted countless historical events. The rise of Hitler and World War II, the assassination of John F. Kennedy, the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Nostradamus claimed he could see well into our future. For all his vague language, those predictions point to the end of the world. Amidst reports of extreme inflation in several countries worldwide, concerns about military conflicts have heightened due to the contentious situation in Russia and the ongoing war in Gaza. While many mystics and prophets predict a positive turn of events in the upcoming months, Nostradamus, the renowned French mystic, offers a more terrifying outlook. He has a track record of accurately predicting major historical events like the French Revolution, the rise of Adolf Hitler, and even the September 11th attacks. With one of his major 2024 predictions coming true on New Year's Day, searches for his predictions on Google have skyrocketed. What are other terrifying predictions for 2024, and should we prepare for the worst? Join us as we unravel Nostradamus's terrifying predictions for the coming months. In the 16th century, there was a powerful French mystic who was accomplished as an astrologer and physician. This man, named Nostradamus, was believed to have an extraordinary ability to peer into the future and receive messages that transcended time and space. Through a collection of poetic verses, he claimed to have made predictions about future events. Among his notable forecasts was the prediction of the troubles that would befall humanity in 2020. Nearly four years since COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic and since then so much has changed. We've seen a drastic dip in deaths and hospitalizations in 2023. But what are health experts predicting for 2024? Bear in mind that this prediction was made centuries ago and we ended up experiencing widespread lockdowns and the devastating impact of COVID-19. That's not all. Nostradamus also warned about a far more terrifying event coming in 2024, a global famine of unprecedented proportions. According to his prophecies, this famine would bring about the disruption of social hierarchies and state power. We can see that this prediction might already be coming true as we witness the disruption of Israeli judicial reform, coupled with reports of rising poverty and social inequality. While skeptics have dismissed Nostradamus's predictions as vague and open to interpretation, a shocking event happened this year that left everyone astonished. Now we can no longer hide behind the illusion that his predictions aren't true. On the 1st of January, 2024, a devastating earthquake measuring 7.6 on the Richter scale struck Ishikawa Prefecture's Noto Peninsula, resulting in widespread destruction. The world watched in disbelief as it was revealed that the fault responsible for the quake had lain dormant for more than 3,000 years. What made this incident even more remarkable was the fact that Nostradamus had foreseen this catastrophic event over four centuries prior. The earthquake claimed the lives of 213 individuals, serving as a stark reminder of the consequences that arise from failing to recognize the foresight of one of history's greatest seers. Keep watching as we delve into some of Nostradamus's other mind-boggling predictions for the coming months. Before we delve into the terrifying details, let's take a moment to introduce the man behind these remarkably accurate prophecies. Nostradamus, whose birth name was Michel de Nostradam, came into the world on December 14, 1503, in the charming town of Saint-Rémy-de-Provence, in the southern region of France. Strangely, Nostradamus's family name was not always Nostradamus. In fact, his grandfather, Guy Gassonet, made a significant decision to convert to Catholicism and change the family name as a means of safeguarding the family from potential persecution during the Inquisition. Nostradamus's father, Jacques de Nostradam, worked as a grain dealer and notary, while his mother, Rainier de Saint-Rémy, hailed from a distinguished lineage. From a young age, Nostradamus displayed a profound fascination with the occult and esoteric subjects, setting the stage for his later endeavors. He received a classical education, immersing himself in the study of Latin, Greek, and Hebrew. Later on, he pursued medicine at the University of Avignon. It's worth noting that his interest in medicine was kindled by the outbreak of the bubonic plague in the region, 
which wreaked havoc on numerous communities and ignited his desire to alleviate suffering and discover medical remedies. When the plague devastated France, he became famous for braving the ravaged villages that other doctors left for dead. Upon completing his studies, Nostradamus embarked on his career as a physician, specializing in the treatment of the plague. His innovative approaches and successful treatments earned him recognition and respect among his patients and colleagues. In 1522, Nostradamus enrolled at the University of Montpellier to pursue his doctorate in medicine. During his time there, he occasionally found himself at odds with Catholic priests who dismissed his beliefs in astrology. While some reports suggest that university officials discovered his previous experience as an apothecary, which was considered a manual trade, and used it as a reason to expel him, most accounts indicate that he obtained his medical license in 1525 without being expelled. As was customary for many scholars of the time, he Latinized his name from Nostradam to Nostradamus. Over the following years, Nostradamus embarked on extensive travels throughout France and Italy, tending to individuals afflicted by the devastating plague. During this era, there was no known cure for the illness, and many doctors relied on traditional methods such as mercury-based potions, bloodletting, and even dressing patients in garlic-soaked robes. However, Nostradamus took a more progressive approach to combating the plague. Instead of relying on outdated practices like bloodletting, he prioritized effective hygiene measures and advocated for the removal of infected corpses from city streets. Notably, he developed a rose pill, an herbal lozenge crafted from rose hips abundant in vitamin C, which provided some relief to patients with milder cases of the plague. His impressive success rate in treating the plague can be attributed to his emphasis on cleanliness, the provision of low-fat diets, and ensuring his patients had access to fresh air. Nostradamus's journey to becoming a renowned seer was filled with both triumphs and tragedies. As he gained local fame for his innovative medical treatments, the people of Provence rallied behind him, offering their financial support. This recognition paved the way for an invitation to collaborate with Jules Caesar Scaliger, a prominent scholar of the time, in southwestern France in 1531. It was during this period that Nostradamus experienced personal joy by marrying and starting a family with two children. However, tragedy struck in 1534, while Nostradamus was on a medical mission in Italy. The devastating plague claimed the lives of his wife and children, leaving him grief-stricken and heartbroken. The loss of his beloved family not only shattered his personal life, but also caused him to lose favor within the community and with Scaliger, his patron. Despite the immense sorrow he carried, Nostradamus continued his tireless efforts to combat the plague. Little did he know that these experiences would shape his future as a renowned seer. The hidden knowledge he acquired during his medical endeavors would later intertwine with his mystical predictions. During this challenging time, Nostradamus's interest in astrology grew. He began incorporating astrological principles into his medical practice, which eventually led him to write almanacs. These almanacs not only contained astrological forecasts, but also provided medical advice, weather predictions, and general guidance for daily life. They quickly gained popularity, further enhancing Nostradamus's reputation as an astrologer and seer. In 1555, Nostradamus published his most famous work, Les Prophéties, The Prophecies. This captivating book consisted of poetic quatrains, each consisting of four lines, which purportedly predicted future events. Nostradamus used a cryptic and metaphorical style in his writing, making the quatrains open to various interpretations. He believed that his predictions, spanning nearly 2,000 years from his time until the year 3,797, were divinely inspired. To convey his messages, he often employed vague language and symbolism. The publication of Les Prophéties garnered significant attention and sparked controversy. He faced accusations of heresy and practicing black magic, particularly during the time of the Inquisition. However, he managed to escape persecution and maintain a relatively stable life. Despite the controversies surrounding him, Nostradamus gained significant popularity during his lifetime, and his prophecies have continued to captivate people's imaginations for centuries. While some praised Nostradamus as a visionary, others dismissed his prophecies as vague and unfounded. 
Nostradamus's legacy extends far beyond his own time. His prophecies have been continually studied, analyzed, and interpreted by scholars, historians, and enthusiasts alike. Many people still turn to his writings in search of insights into the future. Before we explore what he predicted for 2024, let's explore how his relationship with women and his daughter influenced who he later became. How did the mystic's relationship with women and children affect him? Nostradamus's personal life was not without controversy. He experienced the joys and sorrows of marriage and parenthood during his lifetime. He was married twice and had a total of six children. However, fate dealt him a tragic blow as only two of his children managed to survive into adulthood. Nostradamus's first marriage was to a woman named Henriette Doncos, with whom he had two children. Their first child, a son named César, was born in 1553. Sadly, César passed away at a young age, leaving Nostradamus and Henriette devastated by the loss. Their second child, a daughter named Madeleine, was born in 1555. Fortunately, Madeleine managed to survive and grow into adulthood, bringing some solace to her grieving parents. After the death of Henriette, Nostradamus remarried in 1547 to Anne Ponsard, a wealthy widow. Together, they had four more children. Their first child, a son named Charles, was born in 1547. However, Charles also succumbed to an early death, leaving the family in mourning once again. Nostradamus and Anne then had two more sons, Andre and Hector, who both tragically passed away at a young age. The couple's last child, a daughter named Diane, was born in 1558. Regrettably, Diane did not survive long, adding to the heartbreak endured by Nostradamus and Anne. The loss of his children undoubtedly had a profound impact on Nostradamus, affecting both his personal and professional life. Despite the hardships he faced, he continued to pursue his work as an astrologer and writer, gaining recognition for his prophecies and almanacs. Nostradamus's surviving daughter, Madeline, played a significant role in preserving her father's legacy. She married and had a family of her own, and it is believed that she inherited her father's manuscripts and continued to publish his works after his death. Although Nostradamus's line of direct descendants eventually dwindled, his influential writings and prophecies continue to captivate and intrigue people around the world to this day. Many people believe that Nostradamus predicted the rise of Hitler, and to be fair, his writings do evoke a sense of recognition. He wrote, from the depths of the west of Europe, a young child will be born of poor people. Indeed, Hitler was born in Austria to a lower middle class family. Nostradamus further described, He who by his tongue will seduce a great troop, his fame will increase towards the end of the East. Interestingly, in Hitler's early days, his military career was unremarkable. He lacked wealth and influence, but he possessed the ability to captivate crowds with his speeches. Another relevant quatrain mentions fighting close by the Hister, which could be interpreted as a vague reference to Hitler, or simply as an allusion to the old name of the Danube River, depending on one's perspective. Now let's consider the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Nostradamus wrote, Within two cities, there will be scourges the like of which was never seen. This statement undeniably aligns with the catastrophic events that unfolded in the Japanese cities at the end of World War II. It is perhaps one of the most intriguing examples of Nostradamus's predictions seemingly coming true. The quatrain presents a grim picture, predicting famine within plague, possibly referring to radiation sickness and the long-lasting impact of war, and people put out by steel, which could be seen as a reference to the planes that delivered the bombs. It is worth noting that Nostradamus himself had direct experience in treating plague patients, so it is possible that he was referring to a literal plague affecting any cities, rather than specifically predicting the atomic bombings. But how did Nostradamus get this mysterious ability to see into the future? Let's take a moment to delve into the beginning of his prophetic gift. How did the prophecies of Nostradamus start? Nostradamus, the famous seer, was deeply involved in predicting future events, with a particular focus on broad categories like natural disasters and recurring conflicts. Many people firmly believe that his prophecies successfully foresaw actual events, such as the death of Henry II, the French Revolution, and the infamous 9-11 attacks. By 1554, 
Nostradamus's visions had become an integral part of his extensive works found in the almanacs. He felt the need to consolidate his efforts and embarked on an ambitious project called Centuries. This monumental undertaking aimed to encompass 10 volumes, each containing 100 predictions that spanned the next 2,000 years. In 1555, he unveiled his most celebrated work, Le Prophet, or Les Prophéties. These prophecies were cryptic and enigmatic, posing a challenge when it came to interpretation and identifying specific events. Skeptics argue that the vagueness and ambiguity of the prophecies allow for retroactive connections, where any event can seemingly be matched to a prophecy. However, they do acknowledge that Nostradamus's writings cover a wide range of general events. Nevertheless, the enduring popularity of his predictions in historical records and popular culture sets them apart. Despite the controversy surrounding their accuracy, they continue to captivate and intrigue the public. Nostradamus had aspirations beyond Les Prophéties. In 1554, he envisioned a grand opus called Centuries, which would comprise 10 volumes with 100 predictions spanning the next 2,000 years. However, only the first volume was completed and published during his lifetime. The reasons for his inability to finish the remaining volumes of The Centuries remain unclear. Some speculate that his demanding life as a physician, navigating various social and political challenges, may have hindered his progress. Additionally, Nostradamus faced criticism from religious authorities who denounced his prophecies as a cult and considered his activities deviant from acceptable norms. Nostradamus became famous during his lifetime because of the first volume of his book, Les Prophéties, even though it was incomplete. People were captivated by his prophecies and tried to figure out their meanings and how they related to historical events. The fact that Les Prophéties was unfinished didn't diminish its significance. Nostradamus's fascination with his predictions and their enduring impact on popular culture is what makes his work important. Even though Les Prophéties is not complete, it has had a lasting influence. Many scholars and enthusiasts have analyzed and reinterpreted Nostradamus's prophecies, attempting to uncover their secrets and connect them to current events. Now let's talk about some prophecies that some people believe have come true. One of these predictions is about the Great Fire of London in 1666. In Century 2, Quatrain 51, Nostradamus wrote, in 23, the sixes burnt by lightning fire. The ancient dame falls from her high place. Many of the same sect killed. The blood of the just will be demanded of London burnt by the fire in the year 66. The ancient lady will fall from her high place and many of the same sect will be killed. According to interpreters, the blood of the just refers to the many deaths caused by the fire. London burnt by fire in the year 66 inches is seen as a reference to the Great Fire of London. The ancient lady is often understood to symbolize the city of London, and many of the same sect will be killed, is thought to refer to the religious conflicts that followed the fire. However, it's important to keep in mind that interpreting Nostradamus's writings is subjective, and many scholars and skeptics argue that his quatrains are often vague and can be applied to events after they happen, instead of predicting them. So while it's interesting, we should be skeptical about the connection between this prophecy and the Great Fire of London. Nevertheless, we can't ignore the apparent similarity between Nostradamus's prediction and the actual devastating fire. That's not all. The quatrain paints a pretty grim picture talking about famine, plague, which could be radiation sickness, and the long-lasting effects of war. When it mentions people put out by steel, it might be referring to the planes dropping bombs. But hey, let's not jump to conclusions. It's possible that Nostradamus was just talking about a regular old plague that could affect any city. After all, he had first-hand experience treating plague patients. In the end, it all comes down to whether or not you believe in Nostradamus's prophecies. People have been fascinated and debating about them for ages. Some folks think they're connected to real events, while others say the vagueness of the quatrains allows for making connections after the fact. 
But there are a few prophecies that are so strangely accurate that you can't help but wonder if Nostradamus had a peek into the future. Now let's take a look at some of those predictions related to 2024. What are Nostradamus's predictions? For 2024, among the many fascinating predictions by this renowned mystic, one that has captured the attention of many is the emergence of a new pope in 2024. At present, Pope Francis holds the esteemed position as the head of the Catholic Church. Nonetheless, considering his age and recent health concerns, there exists a possibility that a new pope may be elected in the upcoming year. The number of potential future popes continues to grow as 21 new names have been added to the Catholic Church's most exclusive club. Yet only 137 of those will have the right to vote for the next pope. According to Nostradamus's prophecy, the transition to a new leader will occur through the death or resignation of Pope Francis as he states, through the death of a very old pontiff, a Roman of good age will be elected. While the prospect of a youthful and dynamic pope may initially seem promising for the church, Nostradamus goes on to suggest that this fresh leader will weaken his see and hold the position for an extended period of time. The interpretation of weaken his see remains a subject of debate, encompassing notions of diminished church influence or the occurrence of a scandal tarnishing its reputation. Additionally, Nostradamus mentions that the new pope will not be the chosen Roman pontiff and will face opposition and criticism both internally and externally. Strikingly, Nostradamus also alludes to the presence of a dark-skinned youth who will aid the new pope with the backing of a powerful ruler. This hints at the possibility of the future pope being of African or Asian descent and receiving support from a significant secular or religious figure. Such a development would represent a historic shift for the Catholic Church, which has predominantly been led by Europeans throughout its rich history. Another prophecy from Nostradamus, dating back to his 1555 text Les Prophéties, involves a foreseen conflict between the United States and China in the year 2024. In vivid imagery, Nostradamus describes a fierce clash of naval forces that will evoke dread and terror in the ocean causing the red enemy to tremble and grow pale. The term Mabus is used to refer to the leader of the red enemy, leading some interpreters to draw connections to Chinese President Xi Jinping, as his name bears similarity when pronounced backward. There are several plausible reasons why the United States and China could potentially find themselves at war in 2024. One significant factor is the contentious issue of Taiwan, an island that China claims as its own while the United States supports its democratic status. China has repeatedly expressed its willingness to employ force to reunify Taiwan with the mainland and has bolstered its military presence near the island. For the first time since Chinese President Xi Jinping came to power more than nine years ago, China on Wednesday released its white paper on Taiwan, where it refused to rule out force in order to unify the island with the mainland. In contrast, the United States has pledged to defend Taiwan and has provided substantial military support. This situation creates a tense and volatile environment where a miscalculation or provocation could easily ignite a conflict. Another contributing factor is the ongoing trade war between the two nations. The trade war has persisted for years, inflicting damage on both economies. Tariffs and sanctions have been imposed on each other's goods and services impacting various sectors such as agriculture, technology, and energy. Moreover, the trade war has generated global economic instability and uncertainty, while fostering increased hostility and mistrust between the superpowers. Despite several rounds of negotiations and talks, the trade war remains unresolved and holds the potential to escalate into a full-blown military confrontation. Additionally, there exists a rivalry for global influence and leadership, particularly in domains such as technology, security, and human rights. The United States and China have been engaged in a competition for dominance in areas like artificial intelligence, space exploration, cyber warfare, and nuclear weapons. These complex issues have proven difficult to resolve, even with the attempts made by U.S. President Joe Biden to improve relations with China in 2023. 
Although President Biden met with President Xi Jinping to discuss various topics, no substantial breakthroughs or agreements were reached, and tensions remained high. The meeting was overshadowed by allegations of espionage, sabotage, human rights violations, and cyber attacks. It appeared more as a diplomatic gesture rather than a genuine effort to bridge the differences and disputes between the two nations. By now, you are probably used to the dark, terrifying nature of these prophecies, but here is one you probably weren't expecting. Nostradamus predicted that in 2024, there will be a strange epidemic, the lack of sleep. This prophecy suggests that extreme fatigue will rapidly spread worldwide during the Dragon Year. The scale of this unprecedented pandemic could transform insomnia into a debilitating disease, affecting society as a whole and leading to conflicts and social unrest. People will grapple with an overpowering urge to sleep, rendering them unable to carry out daily tasks for extended periods. As a result, finding employment, attending school, and maintaining a normal lifestyle will become increasingly challenging. In exploring the potential causes of this sleep pandemic, several factors come into play. The widespread use of technology, especially smartphones and social media, disrupts the natural sleep cycle and exposes individuals to blue light and radiation. Escalating stress and anxiety resulting from the chaotic and uncertain state of the world may prevent people from relaxing and falling asleep. Furthermore, the declining quality of the environment, including air and water pollution, could negatively impact people's health and well-being, impairing their ability to sleep. Despite numerous warnings and recommendations from experts and organizations emphasizing the importance of sleep hygiene and health, these causes have persisted and worsened over the years. Simple suggestions such as avoiding caffeine and alcohol before bedtime, establishing a regular sleep schedule, creating a comfortable and dark sleeping environment, and practicing relaxation techniques like meditation or yoga have been proposed. If Nostradamus's prophecy holds true, 2024 may witness the outbreak of a strange and unsettling sleep pandemic that affects the entire world. Naturally, we hope that this prophecy does not come to pass. However, should it materialize, Investing in quality pillows and blankets may become a necessity to navigate the challenges ahead. Moving beyond the realm of sleep, Nostradamus has also made astonishing prophecies concerning politics. One such prediction involves Prince Harry ascending to the throne of England. Found within Nostradamus's 1555 manuscript, Les Prophéties, a passage speaks of a monarch of the Isles being expelled by force and replaced by a new ruler who will pacify the land. Some analysts speculate that this could allude to King Charles III abdicating the throne amidst scandals and public pressure, with Prince Harry stepping in instead of Prince William. This unforeseen turn of events would significantly disrupt the royal succession, considering that Prince Harry currently ranks sixth in line to the throne, following his father, brother, and three nephews. Curiously, Nostradamus may have envisioned this improbable scenario, as he wrote, the youthful lion will triumph over the elder one, on the battlefield in a solitary clash. He will pierce his eyes through a gilded enclosure, two wounds merged into one, then he shall meet a cruel demise. In a stunning revelation, Nostradamus also made a prediction that has sent shockwaves through society as this forecast made its way to social media. His prophecy hints at the possibility of a remarkable comeback by the controversial former President of the United States, Donald Trump, in the 2024 presidential election. Nostradamus envisions this event as a catalyst for chaos and upheaval in America, likening Trump to a white dragon who will ignite turmoil and violence, leading to a deep division within the nation itself. According to the seer, this division will weaken the country's dominant power and plunge the entire world into a perilous state of affairs. However, Nostradamus suggests that it is in the hands of the courageous and wise to avert this impending disaster. Nostradamus's prophecy implies that a potential second term for Trump could usher in a period filled with conflicts and struggles. The seer further predicts that numerous scandals and controversies will undermine the very foundations of the nation, intensifying public hostility towards Trump and tarnishing his reputation. Interestingly, recent developments in the political sphere corroborate these predictions, 
as Trump has actively engaged in rallies, endorsed candidates, and openly criticized the current administration. Moreover, he has formally launched his presidential campaign for 2024, exhibiting a keen interest in the upcoming election. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.